So now we'll be taking a look at how we can work with selectors, jQuery selectors. Basically, jQuery selectors are used to select an element in the document object model. Now there are many ways using which we can select an element in the DOM and then perform some operation on it. To do so, what we require is identifying the element. So we usually do that by the ID. For instance, over here, if you take a look at this input text box, it is having an ID, which is having name as txt search city. So if I have to access this element in the document object model, the best way will be to access it by its ID. Now there are other ways as well. For instance, if I associate a class over here, if you see the section tag, it's having a class called navigation. So I can access this section element based on the class name. Apart from that, we have the usual jQuery, previous, next, children, and all those sorts of functions which we can use to access an element in the DOM. Over here, we'll be discussing the right way or what is the best way to select an element, what steps we should follow to boost the performance. So first of all, whenever we have an ID associated with an element, it's always best to use the ID because jQuery internally makes use of get element by id method of javascript which is pretty fast the second thing we should take here is we should not over qualify the id selector now over here if i'm trying to order and then inside it i say input and then i specify the id so this is not required because it slows down the selector. So all we need to do over here is just write it in this way, hash and then the control name. And whenever it's possible, you should start with ID and then you can further, you know, specify the elements which needs to be accessed. For instance, if you see this UL tag, I have given it an ID called choose city. Now if I have to access the li elements of it, all I need to do is just write dollar then hash choose city. So I'll simply write choose and then hyphen city. Now oh, we have to be more specific on the right side whenever we are specifying the selectors. So over here, if you see, I need to access the li element, so I'll say li. And the reason behind this, why we need to be more specific on the right side, is because jQuery selector engine, which we know as, which we know as Sizzle, parses selectors from right to left. Therefore, to speed up your selection, we need to be more specific on the right part and less on the left. And that is why we are following this approach. So now, if I have to access each element of it and get the city name so i'll simply write each and inside this i'll say function and then open close over here i'll say console dot log and in that i'll say dollar this dot since it has got an anchor tag so i'll say children and that anchor tag is actually having the text property as the city name so over here i'll say text text method actually so over here you can see that under the ulli we have the anchor tag and each anchor tag is having the city name so over here if i run that in browser let's see what appears in the console so you can see that all the city names are getting logged in the console now let's try to develop a function wherein if I enter a city name, only that city name should be shown or the matching cities should be shown. So in order to do that, what I'll be doing over here is I'll quickly take this text search city text box because I need to enter the city name in this text box. I'll be accessing this in my jQuery over here. 
so as mentioned I'll be specifying or accessing it with its ID and then as I'm going to type the city name should be shown so key up is the function for that and inside that what I'll do is I'll find out the name of the city which has been entered by the user so let's say it as city and then the value will be dollar this dot val not value of val so once the city is stored in the city variable uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be accessing the city list as well city list is the list of li items basically that we are having so we'll say it like this and now I'm checking that if city that is if there has been something entered by the user we can say city dot length is greater than zero and inside that we'll simply hide all the city list first because we only want to show once that has got some match so over here I'll say hide initially we hide everything and then city list dot each so this is the same function which I'll be making use so let's say city list dot each and then close this one over here now inside this what I'll be doing is if the name of the city entered by the user matches one that we have in the list so for matching we know that index of is a function provided by JavaScript so if it returns true that means if it's not equal to minus one in that case we'll only show that item so I'll say dollar this dollar this dot show so over here if I write agra agra so if I say ag you can see that only that city name is not shown but this one has got some limitations and that is what we will be resolving when we'll create our own custom selector so let's move on to that part where we'll be solving this issue and the issue is if I type it something like this agr you can see that the city name has gone disappeared it's not found though you know that it's there if I just write it in this fashion agr so you can notice that there is case check applied whenever I'm trying to find a match now if I have to resolve this I will have to come up with my own selector and that is what we'll be doing next things that we covered under working with selectors